Today I'm going to show you how to write back data to Snowflake using the coefficient add-on and you can do this in both Google Sheets and Microsoft Excel. Keep in mind this works whether you've already done an import like we have here or if you just are adding your data and you want to export it to Snowflake. So we're going to show you how to do both real quick. So let's go ahead and open the sidebar. You can click on this button if you have an import already. Otherwise, we can go to extensions, coefficient, and launch. Once we have the sidebar open, if you do not have an import already from Snowflake, then you would go to export to and Snowflake, and then you proceed with the rest of what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and show what it looks like when you have an import. So we'll click on this import here. Otherwise, if we clicked on open sidebar, then it would look like this. And so from this view, we're going to go down to export to Snowflake and click on the configure button. And so again, this is where we were when we went directly to export. So from this point, it looks the same. And so we pick the tab that we're coming from. And so we're using this tab here in the header row. If you have it imported from Snowflake using coefficient, it's going to be in row two. Otherwise, if you don't have this top row, then just make sure you have row one. And this would just be wherever your header cells are. Once you have that correctly selected, we're going to go ahead and click on next. And then we can select the table in Snowflake that we want to update or export to. And so in this case, we're going to use the same one that we imported. Otherwise, just make sure you select the table that you want to export the data to. And then finally, you can select the action that you want to take. And so you can update, insert new data, or delete data. So in this example, we're going to update data for existing records. And so the reason why we do this is, so for example, if I want to modify this title, if I just change it in this Google Sheet, it doesn't actually change it in Snowflake. And so whenever I refresh the data, the existing data in Snowflake is going to overwrite what I have right here. And so for me to be able to update this title and have it push back to Snowflake, I'm going to have to do this update here using this export function. And so let's go ahead and proceed. Click Next. We just want to make sure that these field mappings are done. In this case, it's already done for us because we have an import. Otherwise, you want to make sure that you map each column to that field in that table. So once everything is mapped, we're going to click Save. And then finally, Export. And then we have two options here. We can either do just specific rows. So in this case, if we only updated one row, we could select that row. Maybe if we update the first couple of rows like this, we could just select it like that. And so whenever you select the rows that you're going to update, otherwise, if you want to just, uh, if you updated randomly or in different spots, you will probably just want to do all rows in sheet. In this case, since we just updated this top row, let's just do this specific row in sheet and click on Next. And then it's already selected. So we'll click done and it tells us that row three is going to be updated, which is fine. So let's go ahead and update that row. All right. So it exported that row. So it says we can scroll over and see that result. So record ID result and timestamp. So that's perfect. So just to make sure it actually updated in Snowflake, we're going to go ahead and click on refresh. All right. And there's our data back. And so you can see this is now our updated value and it's now updated in Snowflake. So if you want to export again, let's say you made more changes. If we go back to our main tab here, now you have this export here. You can click on this and then just start that again and do export and select the rows and then just push that again. And so if you wanted to do delete or add new rows, you could just uh, edit this if you like to do that and you just change this action and then delete works is very similar to update and you could select rows or delete an entire tab of data if you had split up some of it or had selected certain ones uh, and then to insert you could just do insert and then have for example these titles descriptions etc and then just make sure you map it in that relevant tab all right so that is it to export data to snowflake using the coefficient add-on I hope that helps you to see how quick and easy it is to use coefficient to both get data from and write back the data back to that source. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.